So let us start with the interfacing of 8051 microcontroller. First of all, what is interfacing? Interfacing means to exchange the data between the two devices. That is, if you want to display the data on the LCD, then you have to interface it with it. Now interfacing can be done with various devices. Some of them can be inputs and some of them can be outputs. Now the, sum, now, now the input devices which we can connect to the 8051R like switches, touchpad, light sensor, temperature sensor, smoke sensor, infrared sensor, camera interfacing etc. And the output devices that we can connect to the 8051 controller are LCD, motors. In motors we have DC motor as well as stepper motors. Others are relays, LEDs, buzzers, 7 segment etc. Now I'll explain the interfacing with each of the above mentioned devices. These are the devices which I'll be explaining. First of all LED interfacing. Now when we are connecting an LED to the microcontroller, we have two specifications. We can give zero logic to the LCD through the microcontroller or we can give one logic. In this particular diagram, I'm giving zero logic to the LCD from the microcontroller and I've connected the positive part of the diode with the VCC. Here is the Proteus diagram for the interfacing of the LED. Then comes LCD interfacing. In LCD interfacing, it has 8 data pins from D0 to D7. It has 3 control pins as you can see in the figure below. The RS, RW, EN. These are the control pins of the LCD. You have to send a respective logic of RS, RW, EN. We have VCC and ground plus LED and LED LED plus and LED minus for the backlight. This is the Proteus design for the LCD interfacing with the 8051. In this diagram, I have also connected a pull-up resistor on the port zero. Then we have seven segment interfacing. In the seven segment interfacing, we have eight pins, eight data pins from A to F, and last one is dot pin from which we can implement a dot. It actually has 8 LEDs on all A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This is a Proteus simulation of 7 segment display. We have keyboard interfacing. This is also an input, in input device. It has 4 rows and 4 columns. If we want to make a keyboard of 16 keys then we have to place 4 rows and 4 columns if you want to decrease the keys we also can implement it with 3 rows and 3 columns now in the proteus diagram this is the interfacing of keypad we have a 16 4 cross 4 keypad and i am displaying the result on the lcd i have pressed key 2 that is it is showing on the lcd key is 2 Then we have motor, interfa motor interfacing. Motor is an output device. Now I have already told you that motor consists of either the DC motor or the stepper motor. The first is the DC motor. In the DC motor it has two poles and it does not depend on the polarity. If we have connected one with the VCC and other with the ground, it is moving in one direction. And if I, if, if I reverse the polarity, it will be moving in the reverse direction. In the side view, we are also having L293D. It is a supporting IC. It is a motor device, motor driver of the DC interface to increase the current and the voltage specification of the microcontroller. This is the Proteus design of the DC motor interface. I have also displayed the result on the LCD that if the motor is moving forward, it will show motor moving forward. Otherwise, it will show backward. This is the stepper motor. The stepper motor has four poles. As you can see, 1A, 1B, 2A and 2B. Now, for the programming of this stepper motor, we have to send a high logic by step by step on each poles. It also has a motor driver IC called ULN2003. This is also to increase the current and the voltage specification of the controller. This is the Proteus design of the stepper motor. In the stepper motor it also shows at which angle the stepper motor is rotating right now. Thank you.